Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video today. And today we have an, uh, an HP laptop. This one is an HP, um, I believe it's an HP 14 DQ 100, 1000 series. And in this video, I'm gonna take you step by step on how you can open it up and how you can safely install an extra RAM or upgrade the RAM that you have in here to a, a higher capacity or in including if you want to replace it if yours is dead and the tools that you're going to be needing to do this process are really simple tools is a screwdriver set i always suggest that you guys grab the i fix it tool set kit the only reason that i will suggest this one they have a the aluminum base handle really nice and the bits are made out of the s2 class steel that means they're really toughen up and they will not go bad after uh, long using it for uh, some time so we're going to be using a Phillips number zero from this tool set. Also, you can get the pro version that they include you an opening tools and some tweezers. But if not, just grab the simple set. And for the opening tools, I use the guitar pick because it's really small and handy. And also that has a soft edges, so it's hard to scratch. So this is perfectly fine for opening computers. Also, you will need your uh, your RAM for this one. This laptop, they use a DDR4 uh, RAM, so you can go up to 16 and 16, 32 gig, or the suggested one and recommended one, even for gaming, whatever reason you want, it's a 2.8, which will make it up to 16 gig. And that way you have a dual channel. As long as you have two RAM in there, you get the uh, effect of the dual channel, which is much faster than having a single DIMM inside the laptop. All right here, I have another four gig DDR4. That's the only one I had laying around. If I had eight gig, I would have do it. All right, I'll leave the link in the description if you want to get one of these. All right, first thing first, power off your laptop and turn it upside down. And down here, you're gonna see the rubber legging at the back and the rubber legging on the front. And you're gonna see two screws in the mid on each corner and two screws on the front end on each corner. But there are a few is hidden screws, which is right under the rubber leggings right here. So you wanna lift it up with the, your opening tools, just lift it up. And when you lift it up, pull it on this direction up. Don't yank it 90 degrees, don't bend it over, otherwise you're gonna break the rubber. So peel it up towards the ceiling, just like that. And Make sure your laptop is clean, just attach it to the side. It has an adhesive tape right on the side. Same thing, do it for here. Lift it up and put it to one side. Now down here, you're gonna see the two black screws which are for the hinges and one chrome screw in the middle. This chrome screw and the rest are the same size. The only thing difference is this one is a little more shinier and these are more uh, opaque. And so it doesn't matter if you make a mistake. So as long as you don't put the black ones in the corners. So go ahead and remove all the screws. Also, I want to take a minute to thank you guys for supporting my channel and giving nice feedbacks. I really appreciate it. And I only realized that it's only 1% of the uh, viewers are subscribing to my channel. Yeah, it would be a really great support if you guys could subscribe and click like if you find my videos helpful obviously all right the front end screws are a little shorter so the front end screws keep them apart all right once you remove the screws so you have two three sets of screws the short ones the front ends the two black screws on each corner and the four screws are the same size and height so they go two on the side one on the rubber, one right here. All right, now what you wanna do, you wanna open up the laptop in 40, just open it up, just set it like that. And grab the guitar pick, and stick it between the top and the bottom cover, just about two millimeters right there. And what you wanna do, you just wanna wiggle it around, just like that. Go all around in the front end. You wanna hear those clips are getting loose. Do all this in the same motion way, all the way to the sides. 
go to the back end. Once you finish uh, on losing all this cover, you see it is coming up already. Just close it down. Put your finger right at the hinges right here. So push it down in here and pull up the cover toward the ceiling. And move it around, it should get loose. And there we have it. That's the bottom cover. All right, down here, the RAM are really visible. There is a two DIMM RAM available. One is already occupied with a four gig DDR4. And we have another four gig right here. First, to remove the RAM. And the first thing first, you, don't, you do not need to remove the battery to upgrade the RAM. It's absolutely not necessary, but for those that they are paranoid, no, you must replace it. You must remove it before you do anything. It's really simple. One, one screw right there, one screw right there, and two screws right in the middle. Remove these four screws and the battery will come out. For the sake of the video, just you guys can see here, you can remove the RAM, plug it out, and plug it back in with no issue. But let's go ahead and remove the battery, remove the two screws on the front end, two screws right at the back of the battery. The screws are the same size, now you can just grab it and pull it over the ceiling, detach it. Now, to remove the battery, there's uh, one way to do it. It's to pull these two triggers apart from each other. So grab these two triggers with your fingernails and just pull them apart, away from each other. And the RAM should come out in 45 degree angle, just like that. And then you want to grab it from the sides and pull it out in the same 45 degree angle. Now, when you get the new RAM in, make sure the notch on the RAM then matches the notch right in here. So if you try to put it the other way around, it's not going to match and it's not going to go through. So it doesn't matter the orientation of the memory uh, on the chip, as long as the RAM dim matches. So bring it in 45 degree angle towards the RAM dim, push it all the way to the inside, and then push it towards the motherboard, and make sure you hear those two clicks. So that's that one over there, and this one comes here, and you see this one, the RAM dims, uh, the RAM chips, it stays on the other side, so that's totally fine, as long as you push it towards the RAM dim, and then towards the motherboard. And that's how it's gonna work. So don't worry about the, oh yeah, my RAM chips are on the other side and this side, that doesn't make any difference, all right? And that's how you upgrade your RAM. Now, when you power it on, and for this video, I'm not actually gonna do this. And let's, let's leave it there for now. All right, so now let's say after this, you're gonna grab the battery, bring it over, align it, make sure the contacts are aligned and push it towards the bottom rest, palm rest. Grab the four screws that you removed. All right, there's one thing very important. Uh, first thing first, grab the top cover, bring it over the straight and press the corners down. You wanna press the corners down and press the middle, the front end, make sure you hit those clicks. Now you can open it up a little bit and you wanna pinch the top and the bottom cover. So, and make sure you hit those clicks, do the sides, Go all the way to the back end. And the last thing would be to put him back down the, the screws. Now, very important note. If you power on your laptop, uh, if you don't get any boot screen or anything like that, don't panic. Just shut it down again, uh, open it up, and switch the, in the, switch the RAM. So put the other four gig in the other place, put that one in the other place and it will uh, detect sometimes no idea for what reason the bias will not detect that the first time at the second time once you switch the places it will detect that doesn't mean the rams are uh, defective or anything like that or the second step would be to plug in the new ram first the new ram dim is gonna you're gonna get plug that one first remove the other one boot it up once you get the booty screen power it off plug in the second ram and turn it on. Once you turn it on, the initial power is, it might take about five to 10 seconds before it detects. So give it uh, five to 10 seconds before you power it off, and then you should be fine. If you have any questions or requests or any problem, let me know in the comment area, and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And again, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish putting up the bottom cover.
And that's how you upgrade your RAM for this HP 14.